morning. Thank you for watching Just Upright. My name is Gina Lynn Ruder. I go by Jing, J-I-N-G, like Jingle Balls. Uh, I'm a physical therapist and a certified dementia practitioner. Um, so I decided to make videos, series of videos about how to become a licensed physical therapist here in the U.S. I'm part of different Facebook groups in which I'm seeing you know Filipinos and other you know foreign trained therapists asking questions about how to become a licensed PT or how to apply uh, truthfully it is an overwhelming process to become a licensed uh, physical therapist here in the US um, if you are foreign trained um, and you have no one to guide you, uh, you can easily get lost. And just like I was, uh, I was lost in the process. No one was teaching me how the agency I was with was uh, of no help at all. Um, so yeah, so this is why I decided to make a video. I actually uh, launched this book last year, The PT Path to US. It's a foreign trained, uh, physical therapist step-by-step -step guide to United States application. So this book is very helpful to um, walk you through the process. Although each process is unique because each state have different um, requirements, but this is a general guideline. So if you're here in the U.S. and you have relatives in the Philippines, uh, physical therapists, and they, uh, you want to help them to apply to come here to the U.S. to become a licensed physical therapist. Uh, get the copy of this book from Amazon uh, and then um, send this book to them uh, because I don't think this is available in the Philippines. Okay, so that is the main reason why and I will make series of videos. Uh, watch out for it uh, as I you know, do it, you know, um, when I, whenever I get a chance, I will add more and more videos about this topic uh, and share this uh, to anyone you know who will benefit from it. So if you click the Just Upright um, name of the channel, it will, it will bring you to my page, to my landing page in Just Upright uh, channel, and then click on the videos, and you will see all the videos that I made. So this is the summary of the step-by-step -step process on how to become a physical therapist here in the U.S. Please take note, this is not set on stone. You can interchange the, the steps depending on your situation, your current situation. Uh, this is just a general guideline and some of the steps you can actually do simultaneously. So I'm just going to walk you through this summary and again I'm going to make videos uh, on the most important parts of the steps in the process of becoming a physical therapist here in the U.S. So step one is to determine what state you want to practice or what state are you applying for to become a physical therapist because you have to go to the website of that state if you google how to be uh, and a physical therapist in state of New York. So Google that and it will take you, you can click on um, uh, New York uh, State of Education, uh, then type or search for physical therapy and it will take you all to, through all the required documents needed by the state of New York. Next, apply for credentialing and visa screen certification. So Credentialing, there are so many offices or commission that can do credentialing, like FCCPT, CGFNS. We're going to go through it uh, in the next videos. And then visa screen certification, uh, credentialing, and processing of the uh, in TOEFL at the same time. So these are separate fees, you're going to pay FCCPT or CGFNS uh, to process this. This it will not be processed by your state. Okay. The third step is apply to the state. So it's a separate fee to apply to the state of your choice. 
prepare for um, TOEFL. So you another fee to take the TOEFL examination. So it's a separate office uh, that gives and schedule the TOEFL examination. Apply for out, uh, alternative identification number step five, and that is free. Uh, you can apply uh, on FSPPT through their website for AIM. Step six is schedule a secure schedule ahead of time for tourist visa interview at the United States Embassy. Step seven is register for the NPTE at FSBPT website. That is after uh, you completed all the requirements by your state. Step eight is secure an authorization to test. This will be released by FSBPT after they receive the documents from your state that you are good to go and you completed all the documentation. Step nine, contact Prometric to schedule your NPTE and jurisprudence examination. That is another fee for Prometric uh, to secure your spot for the NPTE. Step 10 is uh, U.S. Embassy interview. Show up for the interview and bring all the necessary documents. Specifically, the authorization to test is very important. And step 11, successfully pass your NPTE. Um, just a clarification, you should take NPTE in the U.S. mainland or U.S. territories. You cannot take NPTE in the Philippines or in your uh, own country. It should be within the U.S. mainland or U.S. territories. And then step 12 is you should find an employer agency, reputable employer agency to file your visa for you. You cannot file for your own working or immigrant visa, you need an employer or an agency to file this for you. The only thing that you can file for yourself is a tourist visa to take the board examination. So that is a general summary on how to um, apply to become a physical therapist here in the U.S., I wish it's that easy as just like saying step 1 through 12. It's a more complicated process and I wish I can help you through the process. Again, stay tuned for uh, the next series of videos that I'm going to make. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for watching and remember to hit the subscribe button below. It is for free for the latest video updates. Thank you for your support and stay blessed.